In this lesson, we're going to discuss how to implement service methods by invoking repository CRUD methods. In a Spring Data JPA application, entity objects hold data, and repositories provide basic CRUD database operations, but it's service components that bring everything together. A service component provides the database operations required by the application logic. As an example, let's explore the vehicle service. The vehicle service in Mover is implemented by the vehicle service impl class. An important thing to notice for our purposes here is that a service component links to a repository. In our example, the vehicle service relies on the vehicle repository for basic CRUD operations using vehicle objects. Let's start by looking at the simplest method in service implementation, get vehicle. Any method in service can start with an at transaction annotation. We aren't going to cover transaction settings in this lesson. For now, just note that specifying transactionality here is technically optional because with CockroachDB, all operations are transactional and use serializable isolation, which provides the highest level of data consistency. So let's just focus on the operation logic. Get vehicle takes the ID of a vehicle, returns the vehicle's data from the database, and returns the data in the form of a vehicle entity object. The first step is simply to call the vehicle repository's findById method to get back a vehicle object. Actually, it doesn't just return a vehicle, it returns a Java optional object, which either contains a vehicle object or indicates that findById couldn't find a row with that specified ID. So we check if a vehicle was actually returned. If not, something's gone wrong, and we throw an exception. Otherwise, we just return the vehicle object passed by the repository. So that's a pretty simple operation. Let's look at one that's slightly more involved. Check out vehicle. This is the method called when the user starts ride on a particular vehicle. Check out vehicle takes the ID of the vehicle and the time the user started the ride. The first step is to get the vehicle associated with the vehicle ID. This uses the get vehicle function we looked at a second ago. Next, we check if the vehicle's in use property is true. If so, we throw an exception because obviously you can't ride a vehicle someone else is already riding. Then we call the vehicle's set in use method to change the entity object's in use property to true to prevent any other users from starting a ride on this vehicle. Let's review. In Mover, service components manage all database operations and transactions while depending on the repository for handling low level CRUD operations. For examples, you can review various methods in Mover's vehicle service impl, such as get vehicle and check out vehicle. Hopefully, this lesson will help you get started implementing service methods to perform database operations.